What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about not pausing your Garmin or having auto pause your Garmin during your runs. First off, I want to say you guys can do whatever you guys want to do. If you guys want to pause your garments, do go ahead and do that. If you guys want to have auto pause on your garment, you can do that too. But for me personally, I think that you should not have auto pause or pause your garment during your run. There are some certain situations that I do, but mainly I don't pause my garment when I'm out on a training run or during a race or virtual race because I just don't see the point of it. Some reasons that people may pause their garments on the run, and I used to do these too, especially when I first started running. You know, you get those apps like a Nike app or the Garmin app or even Strava and it'll tell you your overall pace so once you notice that you kind of want to keep going on a downward just trend you don't want to go up so back in the day when I had the Nike app it would tell me my average pace for all my runs I would see that it was creeping up higher because I was going a little bit slower and you know I would pause my run if I was walking and I would unpause it maybe that's some of the reasons that people do too they don't want to see their overall pace drop or sometimes, even on social media, you know, everybody posts their stuff on Strava or on Garmin or on Facebook and they share their overall pace. And for some people, maybe they don't want to share their pace or maybe they don't want to seem as slow as their pace shows. They want to only show their running pace. So when they're running and they take a break, they'll pause the Garmin during that walk break and they won't count that. Or during a track workout when you're running and you're running those fast speeds, maybe a five minute mile, you'll start your Garmin. And then when you do your rest, the rest lap, you'll pause it so that your overall pace says you ran a 540. I mean, I could definitely run my sub seven minute mile if I ran a loop, paused it, loop, paused it, ran another lap, paused it. I'd probably get a five minute mile if I could do that. But I don't do that because it's not a true measure of what you can really do. It may look good on social media. It may look good other places, but there's really no point to do it because you're not really seeing how well you can run. And then when you actually do run a race, what's going to happen? You're going to run the race and your time's going to be, you know, one hour and 30 minutes. When all your Garmin data and your Strava data is showing that you are running a sub one hour 10K. So why even do that? It really doesn't show anything. So I'm just saying there's really no point to pause your Garmin during a training run because during a race that's not the time you're gonna run you're gonna really feel defeated after you run a real race and your chip time and your time is not gonna match up with your Garmin because during your Garmin training runs you pause your workouts and that's not the true measure of what you can really do so a reason why I think it is okay to pause your watch is for instance some things that are out of your control like for me whenever I was running one time and a buddy came up to me and talked to me usually if it's like 30 seconds I will leave it running but if they start talking and yammering and keep talking and I'm stopped and my heart rate is dropping down uh, I'm gonna pause my watch because that's a break during my run uh, I can't really count that because that's not part of my workout like if I'm slowing down to a walk during my run because I'm tired I'm not gonna pause my run because that's part of my run that's all part of the set workout for the day I was supposed to do five miles and that five miles included that walking break even though it is slower than my normal pace so I think that's the only reason things that are beyond your control you could pause it uh, I think stop lights and stop signs or, or waiting for a car if it's less than 30 seconds for me I'm not gonna pause my Garmin so what do you guys do do you guys pause your Garmin what do you guys think should you not pause your Garmin are you part of the pause your Garmin squad or are you part of the do not pause your Garmin squad during a workout all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did give me a like subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time peace out